guys and welcome back to my, to my channel. My name is Paige or Penalini here on YouTube, whatever you want to call me. Call me whatever you want, I don't really care. Um, and so, yeah. My birthday was yesterday, it was May 8th. I turned 23 years old, which is wild and crazy and such a weird number to say out loud because I don't feel like I'm 23 years old. I feel like I'm still 21, 20, 19. Like I don't feel like I'm 23 years old. And so that's such a weird number to say out loud. But I was trying to think of things I could do in order to celebrate my birthday here on YouTube. Um, I just filmed a video on this look. It's the look I wore on my birthday and the look I've been wearing a lot. I know my glasses kind of make it not so visible but um yeah I kind of wanted to do a video that was fun and interesting for my birthday but I didn't know what it should be and so I looked up people born in May and I was hoping to get a google search of images of like people to like be like oh like just make up stories about these people like I don't know something fun and unique um but it just popped up a bunch of tourist stuff and like zodiac stuff and that's like cool and fine but like not the idea I had so um, so I decided for my 23rd birthday, I was thought about doing 23 facts about me. I thought about doing 23 things I learned being 23, turning 23, but then I was like, that is a lot. 23 things is a lot of things and I don't want to do that. So welcome to being a tourist where you're lazy. Um, but I decided instead I would tell a few stories of my childhood that were like funny, goofy, showed off my personality. All of those things may be even embarrassing and maybe I shouldn't share them but I'm going to anyway. So I was telling my husband about this one today and I was just like perfect I have a few others in my head I was like this is good we're just gonna start spilling them out and see where this this goes. So the first one is uh the earliest I remember school wise which would make sense and that is that I was supposed to go to preschool and I did but this not this day and my great grandmother was alive because people in my family had babies super young up until me and my sister's generation we did not have babies young but not the point so um yeah yeah so my great grandma was the one that babysat us and took me down to the end of my driveway to be put on the bus to go to preschool which was a different school from the k-12 through school that i ended up going to k-12 through now um i was i am a very attached person like once i get attached to someone i'm like this is mine the claws are in they they not belong to me but they, they are my human and i don't want anyone else to touch them and they are my human and i just kind of get that way it's just part of my nature um and so that kind of happened with my great grandmother and all those things and my family and growing up um when i was really young and so i didn't want to go to school i didn't want to go to school i'm also a very anxious person so understanding that putting me on a bus full of people i've never met before is a very anxiety inducing time for me um and so i said the end of it and then my neighbors came down um and walked over and they're like oh is she going to school today and my grandma was like yeah and she's like oh well she needs to go on this bus over here it picks up at the end of the road and so i was like oh great yay i have kind of friends i don't know so i anxiously walked to the sidewalk and the bus came and i got on the bus we didn't even pull out of the spot we were in and i start crying now i remember there was a girl that i sat with who was very sweet and nice and she was like it's okay like you're fine um and i was just bawling and she was like bus driver lady this girl is crying super hard and i don't know what to do about it and then they were like uh okay so she came over to me and she's like are you okay and i was like no i'm so scared and she's like is this your first day of school and i was like yeah i don't remember what i said but somehow we got on the topic of what school i was supposed to be going to and i said it out loud and they were like this is not the right school bus this is the k through 12 this is a completely different school and they took me off and gave me back to my grandparents and i don't really know if that day wasn't supposed to be the day that preschool started or if the bus came I didn't go to school that day I don't think that or they drove me I don't really know but yeah I definitely did not like that anyway so me crying got me off the bus which is a very good indicator for how the rest of my bus bus drives went the beginning of preschool because after that I would get off the bus and run back into my house 
literally they had to pick me up and my uncle put me on the bus and said stay there and I still got up as soon as he got off and ran off the bus I mean I ran off that bus and I did not want to stay on the bus I was so scared I was so scared um but also another thing that I did in preschool was that I wore the same dress to school like the first week <laughs> I thought it was so pretty and I wanted everyone to see it and that's still like me like that's so me like if I get a new shirt I want to wear it to my Monday Wednesday Friday classes and my Tuesday Thursday classes and also to all my crew events that first week so that everyone sees it because it's a new shirt and it's amazing but that was me I for sure wore the same dress to school like the first week and my dad was like they're gonna think you don't shower or wash your clothes I was like yeah, I care a lot about what other people think, so I guess I won't wear it. Um, so that was, like, preschool for me. That was, like, there's a lot of instances like that where I just was such a weird kid. Still lame. Still a weird one. Still a weirdie. I don't know. I can't help it. Um, I need to yawn a lot. If I talk a lot or I sing, I yawn. I don't know why. But, um, anyway, so there's this other story from when I was in elementary school that's so funny. And... First of all, another thing is that I peed my pants a lot in elementary school. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, I would get in trouble in kindergarten. I peed my pants so often. Um, but that's not the point of this story, is it? No. <laughs> so, I... Uh, and for some reason, in elementary school, uh, one year on Arbor Day, they give you trees to go home and plant. Now... I don't know why you would give like a third grader or fourth grader a tree like what but they did that they did that so I don't know how old I was but I took it home to my dad and I was like dad they said you have to plant this in semi-dark lighting and he said okay and I said where are we gonna get the semi and he goes what and I said well semi-dark lighting I thought that semi-dark lighting was the shadow that cast off of a semi onto the ground. And that's how dark the ground had to be in order for you to plant this tree. I threw that away. My dad made me throw that tree away. Paige McKillop Robbins, whatever you want to be called. What are you doing? Like, oh my god. Semi-dark lighting. That is such a Paige thing to do. To think to say not as embarrassing this is a bonus story because it has nothing to do with me but there was this girl in high school that walked in and she we like for some reason like our student section for a little while was called chaos and if you look at the way chaos is spelled it's not like a normal word and <laughs> this new girl in our school is like what was what's chouse i was like that's not what that means that's not it but it was really funny that she said that um, that's a story. What is an- oh, in third grade. Oh my god. This is so funny. So Glenn is Will's brother, and Glenn and I were in the same grade, and we graduated high school together. Which is so funny. And remember, it's third grade. And we had some of those rooms where, like, the wall came apart, and it came into a bigger room. And we always went to those rooms to watch TV, like, a movie or whatever, as a whole, like, third grade class, right? And so we do this we go over there and glenn is in front of me and keeps pretending he's gonna sit on my chair and if you know anything about me i can be a little possessive it's a part of my nature it's who i am and so glenn keeps pretending he's gonna sit on my chair so finally he goes to sit on my chair and i pull it out from under under him he falls on the ground but hits the floor you know what happens my teacher sees it Paige goes all the way so I walk out to the hallway, willy-nilly, whatever, and she comes out there and she goes, Paige, I saw what happened. And I said, it was an accident. And she says, it was an accident. And I go, yeah, I didn't know he was going to sit down. She's like, oh, you didn't know he was going to sit down on the chair. And I said, no, I mean, I just was pulling it up to pull it up so we could move along. And I didn't get in trouble for it. I'm, I'm sure she knew I was lying. Quite positive. But, um, that happened one time. This, like, video is so far 10 minutes long, and I am certain quite boring. But 
anyway, so I don't really know if I have any more like stories I can think of off the top of my head. I didn't plan this through. All I really thought of was the semi-dark lighting one and the preschool ones. Although here's something is that in preschool they gave you a little rug, okay, thing that went up in your cubby. And I remember I would cry, right? So my dad told me that if I didn't cry, he'd leave me a surprise and then told me that there was a candy bar underneath my nap rug. And then I went and it wasn't there and I thought for sure someone had stolen it. I was like, man. And then when I became an adult, I asked my dad about it and he goes, no, there was never a candy bar. I just told you that so you would go over there and like not cry. And I'm like, great parenting, great. Um, so yeah, those are all the stories I have for now. I'll save more. I'll think of more for when I'm 24. More stories for when I'm 24. Um, but yeah, those are just like the little ones that I'm like, I don't even know if that's relevant to anything, but it's something. And, um, yep. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>